This was the bomb you all wanted, so brace yourselves because I bring one of the big ones. The second episode of Digital Circles is scheduled, but that's not all. An exclusive teaser for the first season has been released, and I'm going to reveal to you all the details and hidden secrets in it right now. Hey beautiful people, after three months of waiting, Glitch Studios decided to drop a Digital Circles trailer right in our faces. The video is over three minutes long, so there's a lot to discuss. It starts with Peeny lying in her room, staring at the ceiling, as still as the furniture, with the same soundtrack that ended the first episode, indicating to us that since the day she arrived at the digital circus, poor thing is still in the same state of disturbance and anxiety. It's hard to speculate how many days, weeks, or even months have passed because we still don't know exactly how time works in this universe. Anyway, Kaney interrupts Peeny's existential crisis, giving her quite a scare to help her tell us what's coming up. Kaney starts explaining in his own way the success of the pilot episode and, due to the explosion on the internet, the first season is coming. But obviously, since Digital Circle is an animation series, they won't release all episodes at once. Glitch Channel actually has other animated series in its catalog, and just to give you an idea, the second episode of Murder Drones was released a year after the first, so we're actually lucky not to have to wait that long. But moving on, Kaney shows a screen to Peeny with several pixelated images, leaving Peeny outraged, possibly criticizing the absurd amount of NSFW art the fans made with the characters from the show, causing a major controversy. Then, in his peculiar way, Kaney has a rather suspicious line. He says, who would have thought that our actions have consequences? And from now on, I'm a bit paranoid. Call me paranoid if you want, but I managed to connect these few words to a bunch of theories. Such as the theory that the digital circus is a kind of purgatory where the characters are condemned souls being tortured and forced to face the consequences of the sins they committed in life. Or that they are really in a virtual reality and if they die or lose sanity and end up going crazy, this would cause brain death in their physical bodies. And of course, there's the possibility that it's just Kaney scaring people off from trying to find a way out and thus keeping them trapped there. Let me know in the comments which of these theories you think makes more sense, or if you have a completely different one, tell me about it too. I always read everything. Kaney continues his presentation and shows Peeny a completely new place, which is the Candy Kingdom. But hold on, the denture had already presented the entire environment of the digital circus before, which, by the way, was quite limited and didn't have any of this. Could the game have received an update since then? The trailer goes from 0 to 100 with a very disturbing scene where Kingdo is simply hitting someone with a shotgun, giving multiple shots, and I must confess I was shocked because I never expected to see this character attacking someone with brute force. It seems like his madness went a bit beyond this time, but since the scene isn't so explicit, we can't be 100% sure he's actually being aggressive. As the place is very dark with flashes of green light in the direction where he's shooting the gun, Kingo could be trapped in this place and these movements could be to break open some kind of exit he found. Perhaps. Which of these two options makes more sense to you? After that, Jack appears with static eyes being pushed to work at some kind of fast food place against his will, which, like the trip to the Candy Kingdom and the survival of Killer Kingdo, would be another of Kane's adventures for the residents of the Digital Circus to spend time and not go completely insane. Or do they serve to make the group lose their minds little by little? By the way, this scene of Jack could be from the day he arrived at the Digital Circus since in the pilot nothing can shake the rabbit, while in the trailer he seems as confused and lost as Peeny. Cut to the sun being simply psychopathic, threatening to commit a hate crime against Kane since he read the scripts of all the episodes and noticed that he doesn't have lines in any of them, while the moon received two. Kane says he can fix that, but the sun, quite bipolar, says he doesn't need to, that he changed his mind and doesn't want to end the denture anymore. I'm not quite sure what this scene was trying to convey. Perhaps a way to show that artificial intelligence isn't as much in control as it seems, that in fact, it's there to meet the expectations of someone superior, and if it doesn't make the digital circle such an interesting experience, it may end up suffering some kind of punishment. I might have gone too far. Well, if you think Kane is doing a good job and it's getting better and better, just leave a like and subscribe to not miss any new videos. And then came the biggest revelation of the video because Kai shows us not one, not two, but eight new characters, including a crocodile cowboy who must be the sheriff of the Candy Kingdom, a blue doll without a mouth in that same restaurant where Jack disappeared in uniform, a cassette player with the same green lighting as Kingdo's scene, another crocodile made of chocolate who also lives in the Candy Kingdom, a ghost buddy who undoubtedly belongs to the same environment as the cassette player and who, from this angle, is definitely part of a haunted mansion, another sweetheart of the sugary land with a crown, meaning the princess or queen of there, another ghost from the mansion, and quite randomly, a bluish NPC lost in the candy world. 
The first season of Digital Circles will have nine episodes, including the pilot, and the next episode will be released in May 2024, this year, in two months, so stay tuned and tell me in the comments which of the new characters you want to meet first. Thank you very much for watching until here and see you later.